hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel how are you guys doing you guys you can see that i am overjoyed my joy is up to the moon <laughs> i am so happy today is one of the best days of my life but we'll talk about the reason of the happiness in another video okay in today's video i just want to talk about um a social topic um which we can all learn from i have learned from it and i always say that when something happens to somebody who is closer to me or who is not even closer to me but i happen to hear about it i take a page from that book and i learn so in this world you never finish learning and you know the uk is one of the countries that things will shock you do you get and this thing i'm going to talk about is like a one of something i have never heard it happening to anybody before this is one of its kind and i feel like we should all be careful we should all learn from other people's um experiences or other people's mistakes also this is not a video to make you and i feel like we are better parents or we are doing so well because sometimes i realize that when i do videos that's where people come to tell you know how they are doing so well in life for themselves and their families this is not such of those videos for us to feel like we are better off than other people it's just to actually help us to um self-reflect and to pick a page from other people's you know books and yeah if you're coming across my channel and my face for the very first time hi my name is baby girl becca <laughs> with a good life on this channel basically i talk about nursing i do lifestyle vlogs videos um uk immigration updates i'm a uk based content creator and yes you are welcome to my channel so this thing happened just this december just before we entered this new year okay and as i said earlier it's not for anybody to feel like we are better off than anybody it's just for us to learn because this one <laughs> can happen to anybody can happen to anybody okay so i was just there when i had this distress call um from one of my very own you know telling me something has happened what has happened there was the police in her house so this is how the whole thing happened okay so she's working husband is working they've got two kids in the uk a three-year-old and a five-year-old okay um the kids were back home before they brought them here because they wanted to settle work you know how it is like we all did it you get so the kids came in settled very well that was august last year september october november december she was at work one day when she had a distress call um that she should come home and look after her son so the two kids that they've got the five-year-old obviously is in school and the three-year-old goes to nursery so when she goes to work the husband takes the little one to nursery but i know the nursery i think it's 15 hours they've got in a week i'm not too sure i've forgotten i've forgotten but the child the baby has got some hours that he goes for nursery for so on that particular day it wasn't time yet for him to go for nursery i think he was going in the afternoon around 12 o'clock or something so it wasn't due for him to go for nursery so the mom which was my friend was at work and then the husband was home looking after the little one and this was the early hours of the morning um the child was still asleep and so the dad was like okay let me just dash quickly out and you know grab something from the nearest shop and i think this was just what i'm thinking immediately he got out you know kids he is thinking that this child is asleep so let me just quickly you know dash out and get something i'm not sure this is something that no parent has ever done before because you trust your intuition and you also trust that your child is you know jigged it's asleep so anyway he dashed out and nobody knows what happened after that by the time he came back home there were policemen in the house with a child so apparently from the policemen what they said was that they were there when they were called that there is a child standing in the garden crying and it's not like the street it's their own home the garden of their home okay so a child went i think he woke woke up got out through the back door went into the garden and was crying obviously looking for mom or dad i don't know for how long the crying went on but according to the police it went on for a while according to the person that called and when they came in lo and behold there was no adult in the house it was just this three-year-old by himself and you know the way we train our kids they are so smart so they asked the boy 
where are his parents? He said he doesn't know. Can you show us to your bedroom? He showed them to the bedroom. Um, showed them to the kitchen. They inspected where the child sleeps, his clothing, food, made sure that every basic thing that a child needs was in place. They waited a while for the dad. Dad came. Where did you go? I went to the nearest shop to grab something. But it's been a while. We've been here for a while and you were not here. So we'd like you to follow us to the station for some investigation. So that was when they called my friend to come home and look after his child. So when she came home, she met the policeman, one of them, and the child. He was like, so where is my husband? He said he's followed my other colleagues to the station. So this is her contact number. You can call us if you want to ask anything. Anyways, she called the line, called, called. Nobody was picking the line. Then she called me. <laughs> See, I'm the worst person to call in emergency because... I don't know. It's so bad. I don't know what to do about it. But my phone is always on silence because I'm super busy. And so, yes, that day, yeah, I pick up the call. And as she was telling me about the story, she was crying and I was crying. I'm the very last person to call when you are in this stress because I am so emotional. So she was crying. I was crying. <laughs> I think I even made the matter very worse. So, anyways. We we're talking on the phone. I started to reassure her everything is going to be fine. Then around like almost to 6 p.m., the husband called and said, okay, I am at and so junction. Could you please pick me up? So she went to pick the husband up. The husband came to say his side of the story of what happened. He just dashed out and that was how the child got up and started crying outside and somebody called the police. When he got to the station, hmm, they started interrogating him, took his fingerprints, charged him for child neglect. I am sure that at this point you are wondering why would he be charged child neglect for his own child? That is how the UK works. That is policy. It is believed that since you can do it to your child, you can do it to another person's child, you can do it to another person's relatives. Okay, so ignorance of the law here in this part of the world is not an excuse. And I've shared how myself went to save garden because of my child if you haven't watched that video yet do yourself a favor and go up and watch that video you pick a page from that so it was child for child neglect they took his fingerprints did a lot of paperwork released him and told him to submit those paperwork to his workplace and also they're going to be sending a social worker or social service worker to come into their home to do regular visit it could be announced it could be unannounced to do regular visit and if they are satisfied whatever the outcome is based on the social service workers visit was what they were going to base whatever decision they're going to be taking around you know caring for the child but in the meantime he is not allowed to be taking care of the child like when the wife is going to work she's not allowed to leave the child for the guy and you can imagine you know, being a full-time worker, having kids, you've got a partner who is supporting you and now you can't leave your child for your partner and you can't take your child to work and you can't stop working because you want to look after the child. So what do you do? Ah, Jesus. Anyways, so that phase, you know, went on. Um, the social service worker came into the house. Lo and behold, she did all her investigation and whatever. And it was just a mistake. Honestly, anybody can do it. Especially if you're a new immigrant, you don't know the laws in the UK. Listen here, your child is your ultimate responsibility. You do not leave your child unattended to, whether at home, in the shopping centers, in town, in school, like no matter how busy your work schedule is, that your work schedule evolves around that child because guess what? You can lose that job because of that child. You can lose your job because of that child. Hmm. Anyways, so the social service worker was satisfied with everything that she saw and just said that it was a mistake that happened, could happen to anybody. Um, but before the social service worker called, the person that is responsible for that social service worker is like the person that the social service worker reports to, who initially called the family to arrange for the first visit, actually was threatening the family that he's going to make sure that the kids are taken away from them and all that anyways by the grace of god none of that happened the kids were not taken away from them so they were satisfied with everything the house was clean there was food and everything so then i told the husband to take the documents that the police gave to him 
to his workplace and report himself that this is what has happened and that it is duty of condor so <laughs> he took the documents to work at that point we all knew that there was an impending danger but we couldn't really tell whether it was just an instinct or it was very it was what it is so he took the documents to work they run a dbs check and realized that that offense is showing on his dbs this person works as a support care worker okay so this is just a tip if you are working as a support care worker as a healthcare assistant as a nurse anything that is going to do with health care in the uk if you are charged for child neglect child abduction safeguarding child abuse not just a child adult anything that's going to do with abuse neglect those things is going to go on your dbs and when they run an enhanced dbs you know we've got types of dbs yeah We've got the basic, we've got the standard, the enhanced. Based on what DBS they are running, they can pick up these things from your DBS. So when they did a DBS check, they realized that child neglect was on his criminal record. And because of the role he's playing, being a support care worker, looking after vulnerable people, it is believed that if you can neglect your own child, you can neglect somebody's mother. You can neglect somebody's father. You can neglect somebody's child. You are a critical worker. Do you get you're looking after vulnerable people? So they said we are so sorry that we can no longer work with you because of this particular reason. And that same day he was dismissed from his job. So what am I trying to drive at? All I'm trying to drive at is that be careful with this child care issue. <laughs> I don't know how, how I want to stress on this. Some people are just very, very lucky in life that the, the first person they met, the first contact person you meet says a lot about how your case is going to go. Some people are so lucky in life that the first contact person they met made things not too you know, difficult. Things were not escalated. So things were kind of like under control. Things were curbed. And they were able to sail through. That doesn't mean you are perfect. That doesn't mean you're a good mom. You're a good dad. Because I have a colleague whose three children have been taken away from her. Taken away into care. Three children. That doesn't mean she's doing something that nobody has ever done. But some people are just lucky. And I, I like the fact that here rules are working to protect the child, to protect the vulnerable adult. So you, as a parent, you need to be careful. You need to be cautious. They say when you go to Rome, you do what the Romans do. Okay? Even screaming excessively on top of a child, that, you know, makes the child a bit timid, is termed as psychological abuse or emotional abuse. Every abuse has its name. Okay? financial abuse, physical abuse, institutional abuse, wherever you're working, you just need to be careful. In your own home, be careful because something can happen in your own house that can go on your DB. <laughs> Listen, when I was leaving my very current job to the job that I'm doing now, my last job that I did to the job that I'm doing now, once I was about to leave, the manager was like, oh, it's, it's very hard for them to get stuff. So she would acknowledge or appreciate if I stayed a little bit for them to get a replacement before I go. So I agreed. She put it on the job advert and a lady applied. She's an elderly middle-aged woman. She applied for this job and came for interview. Everything was okay. The manager even told me that, okay, now we've gotten somebody. We are just doing our background checks. So you can now proceed. I was like, fine, fair enough. So I started doing my disembarkment process about to leave the home. The next thing I heard was that the woman was not given the job. Why? Because when they did a DBS check, they realized that she fought some time ago with her daughter-in-law. So the son is married. I don't know what happened in their home. It's their house business. But they fought to the extent that the police got involved. And it was on her DBS. And I don't know whether she knew or she didn't know that it was on a DBS, but it was there. The police got involved to put it on top of her DBS. And this is how the lady cannot get the job. She's a registered nurse. So it's believed that you fought with your, your, your family member. It's the same way you can come and fight with a resident. It's the same way you can come and fight with a member of staff. It's the same way you're going to come, come and fight with the management. It's the same way you're going to be fighting with everybody at work. 
So because of that, the lady was not picked for the job. What am I trying to say? Be careful. You see, <laughs> in this UK, if somebody is bringing trouble to you like this, tell the person, talk to the next person. Don't come close to me because I, I don't want any troubles. I don't want any fight. Just protect your DBS, protect your integrity, protect yourself because if that little offense goes onto your DBS, you may not be lucky. And in all this, if you are the main applicant and you are on sponsorship and you're the main applicant and this happens to you, and your sponsorship is revoked. That is your end. To the glory of God, in this, my friend's scenario, she was the main applicant. The husband is the dependent. So he was sacked, but it didn't really affect them. He got another job anyways, which wasn't care. He can't do anything healthcare again in the UK. He got another job, which he was doing. So she is the main applicant. So that is what keeps them still in the UK. So if it happens to you, you are, not, you are the main applicant, then there is trouble. So please look after yourself. Don't let anybody bring any confusion, trouble close to your doorstep. In your own house, be careful to look after your family. Me, I always say family first, okay? If you call me for a job and my child is sick, it's my child first, I'm sorry. But if I don't look after my child, how will I get that sound mind to look after somebody else's? Do you get so? Have to look after your child or your children. Let their health be paramount to you. If somebody is bringing fights close to you, block that person. Let that person go far, far away from you. Do your job. Protect your DBS. Protect your job until you are very sure. If you are not, if you know that okay, I don't like this job again, you live with dignity and with your integrity intact. But this is just what I want us to learn from, to pick a page from this story, and to make sure that we are safe out there. Thank you all very much for watching, for constantly coming back to the channel. Until we meet again in my next video, guys.